Hi, this is Jimmy from The Productive Engineer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to import your Evernote notes and notebooks into Notion. A lot of people have been transitioning from Evernote into Notion and wanting to take their existing data in Evernote and get it into Notion in an elegant manner. And fortunately, Notion has set up a very easy utility for doing this, and I'm going to show you how to use that in this episode. So before we get started, if you like this video, please click the like button. It really does help out my channel. It shows YouTube that this channel is worth watching. If you want to see more videos on Notion, Evernote, or any other productivity apps, please subscribe to my channel because that's what I cover on this channel. And lastly, if you want to be notified when I release new videos, please click the bell. Thanks. Okay, let's get started. As you can see, I have my Evernote open to a notebook called Blog Demo. And I'm going to import this notebook into Notion. Now, Notion does support the ability to import all your notebooks or a selected amount of notebooks, anywhere from one notebook up to multiple notebooks. I wanted the purpose of this, I wanted to, one, I didn't want to import my entire Evernote into Notion, and you probably shouldn't either. Uh, you want to kind of curate what's in Evernote and figure out what you want to have in Notion because they are different apps and different strengths and weaknesses. So it makes sense to sort of figure out what really makes what really should be in Notion that you can manipulate and use. So I created a bunch of different notes here. I have a basic note. As you can see, I have it open right here. It is got basic text formatting in it. It has a checkbox, has various things. And of course, I should probably actually do the things I hear. I'm going to italicize some text here. I'll underline this text here just to see if they get preserved when we, when we import it into Notion. I have a note with a PDF attachment and a tag to see if tags are preserved and also to see if the PDF is included in the import. Here I took advantage of, I added a note with a PDF and I annotated it using Evernote's annotation feature to see how that turns out in um, on the import. I have a couple of, of audio files here just to see what that does with some text and then lastly yeah, so I have actually four of those, excuse me. So that's a pretty good range, anywhere from a basic note to some would attach audio attachments and file attachments and then annotations. I think those are the big things that you can do in Evernote, so it makes sense to see if those will actually work. Okay, so here I've opened up Notion, and I'm going to show you quickly how to import your Evernote notes into Notion. So I'm going to come down here. I'm just going to create a quick test page for this. I'm going to just like slash page Evernote import. And then I'm going to come over here in my left hand panel and click the import button. And that's going to bring up a bunch of options here. I'm going to select the Evernote option. It's going to take me to my login here. So I'm going to put in my login information. And I'll type in my password. And then once you've done that, it'll show you a authorization page that'll teach you that'll teach you. That'll tell you what Notion's gonna be able to do and not able to do by the authorization. You can also authorize it for a year, for 30 days, for a week, for a day. I'm just gonna authorize it for a day. Because uh, I'm just doing this for the demo. And I'm going to hit authorize. And it's authenticating. And now it'll bring up this little dialog here that shows all of my folders, uh, excuse me, notebooks in Evernote. So to simplify this, I'm going to type in blog. And that'll bring me to my two notebooks here that have blog in it. And I'm going to hit blog demo. And I'm going to hit import. And as you can see, what it did is it actually created a list table, a, a, a list block, excuse me, containing all my different notes in a list view. So what I'm going to do here is let's click through each one and see how it did. So actually, so while I'll click on it, and as you can see, mixed results on the basic note. I'm actually going to bring this over. I'm going to bring over my basic note in Evernote, and I'm going to put it right next to my uh, basic note here. 
in if I can get this to work here. Um, so it did well with the bulleting. It did well with the bolding, but notice it didn't do well with the highlighted text, the italicized text. It also didn't do the underlining text. It did do the checkbox. It did create my list, some well, listed that my numbered list with a sub bullet sub list. So highlighting the italicizing and the underlining didn't seem to work. So not sure why, but at least for my results, that's what happened. Uh, let's close that here. Let's go to note with PDF attachment. And it looks like that works well. I see my PDF attachment here. Obviously, they work a little differently than in Evernote. So I'm actually going to come down here, scroll to a page, and then what you can do is you scroll through all your pages. If I look at it in Evernote, kind of the same thing. It's just the whole um, PDF here, and I have the whole PDF in here. So, so far, I got a passing grade for that one. Good job, Evernote. Um, Notion, I mean. Now, let's take a look at the one that I think is going to be a little trickier. PDF and annotations. So as you can see, I have my annotation summary, and then I have my, some of my annotations here. Let's see what happened there. PDF and annotations. Okay, so it actually literally took everything. Now, it took a copy of the annotation summary that's sort of not really part of the document, but that's okay. Um, but it has all the annotations in it, which is a little surprising. I wasn't sure if that would work. Um, so I, as you can see on that first page, I had um, I had an arrow. Let's bring it up here. I had an arrow. I had some text, and I had a uh, call out, and that each of those showed up. So actually, that worked. I'm kind of surprised. Um, let's take a look at the audio file, and as you can see. Here I have the two files, and here I have two files. Same thing. Ooh, this is interesting. Uh, this one, it actually brought it in as, as an audio file, but when I did it up here, oh, you know what it is? Because the file format, okay. Because this had a different file format when I imported it in. Here, it, when I did the Android version, which has its own, has its own um, audio codec here, um, it brought it as it didn't understand Notion doesn't support that, so it did as a file attachment. Whereas when I did the iOS version, it has an M4A, which is a much more common um, format. It understood that. And let's see, if I go to desktop, that's a wave file. And yeah, Notion understands wave files as well. So I can hit. Of course, it says you can't play it on this device, but um, which is interesting. But okay, um, but it brought it as a wave file. And the desktop version, it's also a WAV file. I'm expecting the same behavior. I'll press this and it'll probably tell me you can't play it. It can't, that's correct. But at least it's in there, <laughs> you know, so it did, it did bring those attachments in. And the one other thing that I forgot to look for, is you notice when I opened this up, it preserved the tag, which is pretty cool. Now, the only difference in tagging in Notion versus Evernote is Evernote's tags are global, so they, they apply across all the notes, whereas um, the tags in Notion are more local-based. They're not system-wide. They're specific to the table or database or page that you're working on at the time. So as a result, this markdown tag is here, um, but it's, it's only assigned to this page. It's only relevant for this page. But it did, did move over, so I did it did preserve the tag, so I like that. Well, I hope this was a helpful tutorial for you. If you're just getting started with Notion, check out my Notion Beginner's Guide. I'm going to link it above. Uh, it takes you from the absolute knowing absolutely nothing about Notion. By the end of the video, you should know everything you need to be highly productive in Notion. I do recommend you check it out. Again, I'll link it up above. If you like this video, please click on the like button. It really helps out my channel. If you want to see more of my videos please hit the subscribe button if you have comments questions about how i did this if you've done your own imports and had some weird results or if you just want to know more about any of these apps leave me a comment uh, i read my comments and i respond and i would love to hear from you and lastly if you want to be notified when i release new videos please click the bell thanks